In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer information from your old Android or iOS device to the new Google Pixel 3. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. I recently had Google reach out to me and said, hey, do you want to check out the Pixel 3 and join hashtag Team Pixel? And I said, why not? Let's try it out. So today I'm going to show you the process in transferring all your information over from either an Android phone or an iOS device to the new Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. So the first thing that we need to do is actually open up the SIM card and move the SIM card over. Now, if you are transferring over from an iPhone or an iOS device, you want to make sure that you go into the settings and turn off iMessage as well as turn off iPhone backup encryption in iTunes. So over here on the Pixel, um, let's see down here on the bottom is actually where the SIM tray is. So we're just going to eject that and then pop in the SIM right there. So we move that over first, and now we want to power on both devices. It's also best to make sure that both phones are fully charged. Now inside the box, it comes with this little transfer tool that you will use a USB-C to a full USB port. So you also need the power cable for your existing device. So here on the Pixel, we're just gonna run through the setup process real quick as this is where you will set it up. We choose our Wi-Fi network and log in with that. All right, so now it's asking if we want to transfer and copy our apps and data from our old device. So you could select don't copy, but right now we want to select next. And then here it asks if we want to use our old phone. So it says you do need an old Android or iPhone device turn it on and keep it unlocked. So let's open it up, unlock the device, select next, and now we will find our old phone's power cable. So I have that right here, and then place it into the old phone. Pretty good on the instructions here. And then connect the adapter, like so. Connect to the Pixel 3 XL, just like that. And then here it pulls open a menu and then here we need to confirm screen lock. So we need to unlock the device so that it can then access everything. And so now we're going to select copy. So it's going to copy all my accounts over to the new device. Here it's asking me to sign in to my email accounts. Now here on this screen, it's showing that if I transfer everything that I have on this phone, which is a 128 gig Note 9, I do not have enough space on this Pixel XL3 because it is only 64 gig of storage. So first, I don't need to transfer any of the photos. So right here I have 52 gig of photos and videos. I already have that backed up to Google Photos, so I'm not going to select that. But here it will transfer our apps, call history, contacts, device settings, Wi-Fi and password, music and other audio, and then there I turned off the photos and videos, and here it could transfer my text messages. Um, right now, I actually don't want those either. I do use Google Voice as my main service, so it's gonna transfer those as well. And then down here, it automatically already syncs my contacts through Google account and my Google Calendar, as well as my Gmail. So it doesn't need to transfer any of that info over. Down here, it does say some data may not transfer, and it also gives a notification that device and SIM contacts will be saved as Google contacts to my main Gmail account, which is pretty cool. So let's learn about what may not transfer over. So some data from your old phone can't be copied. Downloads, such as PDFs, photos, videos, and music stored in the hidden folders, photos, videos, and music via text messages, so it can't transfer over those um, picture messages you received. So make sure you go into this phone and maybe download them to your phone before you start the transfer. Apps that aren't from the Google Play Store, app data, so you will need to sign back into new applications over on this phone. Certain device settings, accounts and other Google accounts, so like if you have an email set up on the email app over here, that won't transfer over. And then here we have contacts and calendar sync to services other than Google, ringtones, and you can learn more there. So that sounds good to me, so let's copy it over. And then it will begin the transfer from my old phone to the Pixel 3. And then here you, it says you can continue setting up your Pixel 3 XL while that is working in the background. So let's go through and do that. And here you have all the typical things that you would see when you are signing up with a Android phone. So here I can add my fingerprint. 
And then I'll touch the fingerprint sensor here on the back. And then this is the icon you will see when you need to tap your fingerprint on there to authenticate. And then it will also run us through a little process to um, personalize the phone a little bit more. So I already use Google Assistant, so I already have voice match set up. So it probably will automatically link this. And then I'm all set, so I'm gonna select continue. And one of the cool things is that if you squeeze your assistant, it will actually open up Google Assistant. So if we select next, here we can choose the pressure. And then here it's gonna set up Google Pay so we can pay with our card via NFC. Here we have the always on display, so I wanna turn that on. That's like the Samsung phone over here. And then here we could add other email accounts, fingerprint, change font size, control info on the screen, and discover what is playing. So we're going to select no thanks. And now it's going to go into the main settings of the phone. So here it gives us an update of the transfer process. So it says I can now disconnect the cable, which was pretty quick. And then here it says it did 238 apps that it's going to install, my call history, contacts, device settings, music and other audio, and then all my Google information. So let's select done. And then it is just finishing all that up. And then over here on the old phone, it says that is done, continue setup on your Pixel 3 XL. Now my Pixel has booted up into the main menu. Here you can see that it transferred over my wallpaper, and then there we just have the main menu. Um, there's no other applications. It didn't transfer over my home screen or anything like that, but here it's showing us how to use the phone. So if we swipe up here, it will go into all of our applications. Um, so I just have that one menu, and it's still going to download all of those apps. If we pull up here, here we can see the Pixel setup. So it's going to finish apps and data restore. So that might take a little while. While this is finishing adding all of my content to the phone, a few other interesting details you need to know. Over here on the side, you have the power button, and then here you have the volume up and down. So when you change the volume, it will give this little pop-up where you can quickly go all the way up, all the way down and mute. And then you can actually change from ring or vibrate or completely silent. So that's pretty cool. And then um, up here at the top, of course, we do have this notch. We'll see how that goes. And then we have the notification shade right there, just like normal. And then down here at the bottom, if we want to go to our apps, we would just swipe all the way from the bottom up. And then here, this is the new way to interact with the recent apps tab. So I swipe up a little bit, and then here it's showing all the recent applications. You can also just drag this little guy down here at the bottom, and that will quickly scroll back and forth between those. And if you just swipe up a little here, this will show you some recent applications or recommended applications based on how you use your phone right there. So you don't really customize these, it just automatically updates and it, as the phone learns about you. And then here we have our Google search bar right there. Now from the home screen, I can also swipe over and here it takes me right into my Google page where it's gonna show me recommended articles for me. And then if I want to add a new page, I just take an application and I would move it over to this other page and now I have two app home pages there. All right, that took about one hour from the time I started the transfer to it installing all of the applications and now it is complete. So if I swipe up here, you'll notice that I have much more applications than I did in the very beginning. So some of the other things that I wanted it to transfer was my call log. So here it's showing my call log right there. And if I go home here, we can go into the Google Play Store if I go into the menu and go to my apps, here you can see that there's a bunch of app updates for many of those apps that were pre-installed on the device. So for the applications, it just looked at all the apps and then went to the Play Store to download them on here. So you have all the latest applications. I will need to select update to update all of these um, that are pre-installed on the phone. So then some of the other things, I didn't want it to transfer any of the camera, so nothing's going to be there. If I go into my contacts, that was all transferred through my Google account. If I swipe up here, here I have the um, Google Calendar. So if I open Calendar, everything syncs there because it's already synced on my Google account. And then here, if I go into Google Play Music, I can select Downloaded Only, and here it's going to show all the music that I have on my phone. So it actually did transfer that over. And then for all of my pictures, they were stored in the Google Photos application. Now, one of the big things about the Pixel is that if you get a Pixel 3, 
you get a full resolution backup until 2022. So that's quite a few years of full resolution. Really excited about that. So we're gonna make sure that we turn on backup and sync on this device. So here it says free unlimited storage for full resolution photos and videos uploaded from your Pixel device before February 1st, 2022. So that means that any photos I take on other devices will only still back up at a high quality resolution. If I wanted full resolution, I would have to pay for more storage. So I'm going to select confirm. And then here I can see all of my existing Google photos that have already been backed up and now it will back up anything that I take a picture of. If you do want to go the other way, so if you wanna go from another phone to a Samsung phone, make sure you learn all about the Smart Switch application as that's gonna be the best option there. I do like how Smart Switch is able to transfer your entire home screen display onto your new device. So there's definitely some big benefits about using Smart Switch when you go to a Samsung phone. So there you go, that is how you transfer all your info from your old phone to your new Pixel 3. If you guys have any further questions about this process or even about the phone, I'm gonna be making more videos all about the Pixel 3. So let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.